Hello everybody, my name is Alex and today we are going to be talking about Crash Bandicoot 2020 again and more specifically we're going to be talking about the voice actors in the game and if recently they've been hinting at a new Crash project coming pretty soon. Um, so we're going to start off here with a post by Lex Lang, um, but before we do that, a big thanks to Cortex's Aussie pal who shared this around Twitter, otherwise it would not have come to a lot of our attention. Lex Lang, who is the voice actor of Cortex in Crash, so I mean that's a pretty big role, um, put on his Facebook that the future of this project is so bright, I have to wear my sunglasses during the recording. As you can see there, he is wearing sunglasses inside, which is an interesting choice nonetheless, but um, yeah. So you put hashtag new game, hashtag great character, and hashtag um, grateful. And this got me thinking, if we sort of look at some of the other things which have been floating around social media recently, is there something to read into what the voice actors are doing? So because I was trying to answer this question of, is Lex Lang basically recording new lines for Cortex for a brand new Crash game? I had another look around and I came across this post by Debbie Derryberry. Now I think I saw this floating around a few weeks ago and it is from the 21st of February. But it said that Coco on Dr. Neo Cortex meeting outside the game. Obviously Debbie um, voices Coco in, in Crash Bandicoot and I believe in CTR she's also the voice of Nina and Pasadena. So she said it's always a good time goofing around with my pal Lex Lang. So as you can see they're both in this post having a good laugh. On a side note, I actually think it's absolutely great how much they seem to enjoy their jobs. That's brilliant. This post is interesting then because it raises a couple of possibilities. So the first possibility is, is this just like a casual meetup that they're putting on Twitter because it's a bit of fun? Or is this post work related? And obviously with that in mind, something to do with a new Crash game. So my initial thinking brought up reasons for yes it is work related and also reasons for no it's not work related, it is in fact something to do with a new game. So firstly what I need to mention is that if you do follow Debbie on Twitter, a pretty interesting follow, um, you'll know that the pair are clearly good friends. Debbie and Lex, they do feature quite a lot on social media together, having a laugh and they're part of this wider community of voice actors in Los Angeles. So yeah, they're more than just, you know, maybe you go to work and there's people that you work with that you just tolerate because you have to even though secretly you despise them. They are far more than that. They're actually just good friends and therefore there is a, there is a good chance really that this post put on by Debbie is just them having a laugh and, and nothing that we should really be reading into. However, because this is a speculation video and I'm trying to put an interesting theory out there which I think has merit, we're obviously not going to go with that because there is actually evidence to support that this is Crash work related. So why do I think that? Well, if we look at this other post that Debbie put on her Twitter just a few days later, Debbie, I mean, it's seemingly taken on the same day as the other post, just a picture put on a few days later, but Debbie actually mentions that when you get to hang out with friends, is it even work? This is clearly not just a casual meetup. This is clearly something uh, more serious and to do with a possible future project they are working on. Just because it's work related though, does that mean that the pair have met up and to discuss a Crash Bandicoot thing or could it be something a bit different? Well in my opinion it's a Crash Bandicoot thing and the reason I say that is that the whole focus of the post where they were doing the voices of Cortex and Coco, that is clearly a Crash Bandicoot focused post. Um, which suggests that, one, they're probably working on it or discussing something to do with it, and secondly, that it's it's at the very least on their minds, and, and therefore, I mean, the post is focused on Crash Bandicoot. The other thing I'd say is that, although theoretically they could be working on, on something else, Debbie is involved in loads of things, for example, like Jimmy Neutron, but my research suggested that where Debbie and Lex actually cross paths and the, the projects they work on simultaneously and together with, they it's basically just Crash. There's nothing else really that they work together with. So it's not as if Lex is in Jimmy Neutron. Um, so it does really show that this is probably Crash Bandicoot related. Okay, now we've established that this is something seemingly Crash Bandicoot related, I think we need to address another point as well. Because I know some of you will be sat there thinking, well, could it just be CTR related, as the hashtag in the original video suggests? 
Now I had to think about this, and this was a, a big concern of mine for the theory. Um, and the, but but there are a couple of reasons why I don't think it is CTR related, um, as the hashtag suggested. Now the first one is that we know that the new content for CTR is winding down. So why would they need to be doing extra recordings in February for the game if we're not getting any more Grand Prix, so to speak? Now I know that Coco has about a million skins in the game, but would we really be having a big focus on new voice work for CTR right now? I don't know, it just seems unlikely to me. The second reason for this, um, why I don't think it's CTR related either, is that if we go back to the second post I brought up on the screen, um, as you can see, Elizabeth Daly is um, in the post with Lex Lang and with Debbie, and that, why would she be there if it, this is CTR related? Because Elizabeth Daly has had nothing to do with Crash Bandicoot really. She's definitely not credited in CTR, or at least from the credits I saw for her, she's not in CTR, so my research and my thinking here is that this is not CTR related. Elizabeth Daly's presence in that um, post though did raise questions because although, fair enough, it shows that it's likely not CTR related because she's not in CTR, as I just said, she's not credited in any Crash game that I could find, so... Why would she be talking about a new Crash game if she wasn't in it? And I thought that that was weird. And this got me thinking. So there's two trains of thought. We could go back to the, the first train of thought I mentioned a while ago. Maybe it's just a friendly gathering. I mean, we cannot properly discount that um, theory because it could be. And she is part of the group and they do hang out a lot. So it could just be a friends thing. But then I did some more digging. Um, I had did a bit of research on Elizabeth Daly, and if you look in her credits, although she hasn't appeared in a Crash game before, she wasn't in the Insane Trilogy or CTR, she did appear in four Skylanders games as Sprocket. She voiced Sprocket in those games. Now those of you who likely watch plenty of these videos can see where this is going. So who developed Skylanders? Well, the same people who are speculated and almost certainly are developing the next Crash game. Activision's and its studios such as Toys for Bob, Beanox, and most importantly, the main people themselves, Vicarious Visions. So, she's worked with them before, and if we're getting a new Crash game, we're likely getting a few new characters, so could it be that Elizabeth Daly has a role in the new Crash game, and therefore you can start to link this up? Are the three of them together talking about their roles in the new Crash game? So going back to the original post I put to you at the, right at the start of this video, where does it leave us in regards to it? What can we say that Lex Lang is doing? What is he recording here for? So, well, basically, in my opinion, I think there's a good chance that the three people we've talked about today are all in the process of recording new voice work for the new Crash game. As we can see, they're all sort of together. They could all, they're all linked by either Crash Bandicoot all vicarious visions and Activision. So there's a good chance that that is what's going on. Now there's more to this post as well because in his post Lex makes it clear that his work here is for a new game, meaning a new video game. And if you look at his credit for games, an awful lot of his recent stuff, especially since 2017, so in recent years, has been for Neo Cortex, especially the big character stuff. I mean, he got credited in the LEGO Movie 2 video game as additional voices, but that's not really Neo Cortex, is it? So, if he's recording, there's a good chance it's for Neo Cortex anyway. And when we go and link this back with the other voice actors, with them all being together in their links to Activision and Crash Bandicoot, I'm starting to think that there is something to this. The final point I'd like to make today then, and this is for anyone that does anything like this, you know, if you see a post by someone like Lex Lang, always take into account the context. Take into account everything else we've been hinted at or learnt or, or what's going on. For example, if Lex Lang had put this post on Facebook but we'd had no new crash news for years and wasn't expecting a game, we wouldn't really be reading anything into this. But if you look at the context, if you look at how PlayStation are making a big thing of their connections with Crash again with the advertising on things like the trailer they did a few months ago. Activision in their quarterly calls have been suggesting that Crash and Spyro will get new games. It seems to fit. In this context point, 
Toys for Bob have recently been advertising for a senior technical artist. A lot of people have took this to mean that this is a big thing for them to gear up for the new game, and I would as well. Like, I think there will be a Spyro game in 2021, and therefore, if you're looking at a Spyro game in 2021, Toys for Bob are needing the personnel to create it and make sure it's done, then surely that means there is a Crash game in 2020. Um, so everything seems to be fitting together, and therefore, we can say that there's a good chance that this new game and great character Lex Lang is talking about is a brand new Crash game and Neo Cortex. There you go then, it looks like something is going on with the voice actors and a brand new Crash Bandicoot game, but what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I would be very interested to read your thoughts, so do share them. If you have enjoyed today and want to see more content like this on a very regular basis really, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm Alex and I will see you in another video soon.